Well, hello guys, welcome back. Today I am going to do an eyeshadow tutorial. I know, very weird, but I have been inspired by Jeffree Star's Thirsty palette, which I already did a review. I will link it down below. But I have been inspired by this color, Submerge, along with Filthy Rich and Divine, because it reminds me a lot of the ocean. And in Australia, it is spring right now, turning into summer, so. I thought it would be the perfect time to use this palette. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos that I may upload. And also turn on post notifications as well so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And leave a comment also um, start talking about what content you want me to do. So I really want to know you guys' opinion. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'll put you guys in nice and close. I already primed my lids with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. So I am going to take Subtle, which is this brown shade here, and mix it with Parched. So I'm going to take that on just any normal blending brush. I'm using the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush back in the days when they were so popular. Times have changed because they're all now in Morphe. I have not tried any Morphe products because I think they're all overhyped, but we'll see, we'll see. So I'm just going to chuck that in the crease as my transition shade. Just like that. Just mix the two. I find it's a very soft transition colour for me if I mix it. If I use subtle on its own, it's a bit muddy for me, so I like to mix it with parched. Now be warned. This eyeshadow palette does do a lot of fallout. So, that's something I talked about in my review. But how are you guys going? I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. Um, I've been really busy, you know, with work and getting the kids prepared for big school. <laughs> my babies. Um, you know, it's just so funny to see them grow and change, so... I've been busy with that, and then of course I got a new bookshelf. If you guys want to see a little bookshelf tour, let me know. I filled it a lot with books. I'm becoming a book addict, which is crazy. Thanks to my best friend in at work, she's been giving me recommendations. So your eyeshadow should look like that. Then I will get like a packer brush. This one's already coated in blue. Um, this one's called an eyeshadow brush by Sigma once again, and I'm going to take Submerge, which is that bright blue color. I'm just going to pack it on, and then I'm going to throw that all over the lid once I clean the mirror a bit. The thing I like about Jeffree Star's um, eyeshadow palette, it's got such a big mirror. And I love it when they have big mirrors. I don't like it when it's very small. And I'm just going to apply that like three or four times to get that blue poppin'. You could probably even use MAC Fix Plus. But I'm going to save that because mine is running out. So I'm going to save that for the pigments or the glitter shades, whatever you guys call them. So that just goes on both sides. I love blue. I love the colour. I love this colour. It's just so pretty. <sighs> Probably because I'm also an Aquarius. Shout out to all you Aquariuses out there. <sighs> There's my cat meowing at the door. One minute. Okay, sorry about that. My Sorry about that, guys. My cat decided she wanted to join the video. So where were we? Putting blue on the eyelid. You sort of mixed up. My cat is a little princess, aren't you? Hmm? Tia? Look at her. Tia? Say hi. Say hi. That is my little pain in the ass. So now I'm going to take that subtle ink pass shade, and I'm trying, and I'm going to try to blend out the blue mistakes that I did on this eye. This eye I'm really happy with. This eye I need to fix. 
And I'm going to once again pack it in with that blue. Just like that. Then, you, this is where it gets tricky. You are going to take, or well, I'm going to take this concealer brush. What is it? If you want to go out, Oh, one minute. See, I'm not paying enough. Don't, don't whinge next time. Oh, sorry about that. Cat is a pain in the ass. Um, I'm going to take Filthy Rich, which is this light gold glittery shade. I'm going to pack it on and then spray it with Fix Plus. I should really spray Fix Plus before the gold, but eh, YOLO. And then you're going to pack it on the inner corner. Ooh, that's pigmented. So you're just going to do it like that. Because then you're going to put the silver in the middle and then it's all going to merge in together. Such a beautiful light gold shade. I love this shade. And I'm not doing this just to suck it up. Suck up just be free, but I truly love this gold shade. It's truly unique. I haven't seen any gold shade like this. So I'm just gonna pack it. Just like that. Then, I'm going to get an even detailed packer brush. This is like a BH Cosmetics one. Don't know the name of it. I got it right when I first started getting into makeup. And I'm going to take this silvery shade here. I don't know. Called Divine. I'm going to once again pack that on. Spray it with Fix Plus. And I'm going to blend that with that gold shade in the middle. I'm not going to take it too far. Tia, enough! She always do this when I'm trying to film. Every time I try to film, she always me So if any of your cats do that, I would like to know. So you're just going to put the silver up here so it kind of merges in with the gold. Because to me it reminds me of the sea foam. When the waves brush up to shore. This could even be like a Percy Jackson inspired look. Maybe I should start doing that, do like a eyeshadow look inspired by the gods from Percy Jackson. That would be really cool. Then I'm going to go around back in with the gold because it lost all that pigment. So your eyes should look something like this. Then I'm going to go back in with the blue, which is submerged. Oh, it's so messy. I'm getting shadow all over my pants. Should I have a towel on there? Oh god. I'm just gonna pack up that inner corner. There was a reason I didn't do foundation. And that's because I find if I do like a bright colourful eye, I could always clean it up with foundation or concealer. So that's why I didn't do it at the beginning like I usually do in my videos. So your eyes should be like this. I'm not trying to get you up in my boogers or anything. Come on, now you gotta focus. Thank you. Oh, oh, come on, focus. Thank you. So your eyes should look like this. All right. So it's a very quick tutorial. 
Let's try zooming out. Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. So it's a very quick tutorial. Only like four or five color shades and just blending and but I mean bada bang, you got a beach on your eyes. So I'm gonna go to do the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come right back for the finished look. Alright, and this is the finished look. The only thing we have left to do is set the face. <sighs> That's better. Um, so yeah, this is my eyeshadow and inspired look from the new Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. If you guys liked it, as I said, leave a comment down below asking me or letting me know what other looks you want me to do because I'm very inspired by makeup at the moment as well as, you know, Harry Potter and reading and all that sort of shit and also leave comments also what you guys want to see because I want to create content that you guys want to see, not what I also feel like as well. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, as I said, thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you guys can see more. I hope you guys had an amazing day or night, wherever you guys are in the world, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!